These two spectra were measured on the same instrument. The difference between these spectra is that one was measured using hybrid mode while the other was using field view one. Both are measured using the same operating conditions for the hemispherical analyzer, namely a pass energy of 20. And what we would like to do is do a comparison of these lens modes in terms of energy resolution. And we will do this by measuring a step that represents the Fermi edge for silver and the objective is to fit a curve to these data that will provide a position and also the interval over which this step occurs. And the interval over which the step occurs provides a measure for the resolution of the instrument. So we need to apply the same procedure to both of these Fermi edges. To measure this edge, we're going to use a background type. And what we're going to do is fit a curve to these data and rather than using the components property page, the entire definition is within the regions property page as a background. So when I create a background, rather than using the default background that has come in, I can enter a background type that is ED, meaning edge down. And I need to initialize these coefficients. And these coefficients, when initialized, represent a set of parameters that are saved in the cross-section field. And these parameters define the current position and characteristics of this complementary error function that will allow us to estimate a position that is based on a horizontal line that emanates from the base of this error function and also using the point of inflection, the gradient of this line and the point at which the line passes through the error function is used to calculate this straight line and at the point of intersection this represents a position. So the position value that we see here on the region's property page represents a position that is defined by the current values in terms of these cross-section fields that are associated with this complementary error function. The data and the function are yet to be fitted and this is performed if we press the button that says regions and once I press this button the fit occurs and then the complementary error function fits in a least square sense to these data and the position of these two lines provide an estimate of where this edge occurs. Now the complementary error function is an integral of a Gaussian. So the width of the Gaussian that was used to calculate this error function provides an estimate for the interval of which a step occurs. So we then can report a full width half maximum that is associated with this error function. This appears in the full width half maximum field in the region. If we're going to make a comparison between these two spectra, then we need to propagate the region that has just been defined on the one spectrum to the other one. Now both are selected and you can see this in this table here on the browser operations dialog window. So we've got the hybrid and the field of view one. Field of view one is the one that contains the region and this is indicated as the source. So if I propagate regions, then doing so will transfer the error function to both. So here we can see the hybrid has produced a measurement of a position and a full width half maximum and similarly the full width half maximum and position for the field of view one is established. So to complete the comparison we'll use the quantification tables that allow us to indicate the full width half maximum, we might as well include the height and also we want the position so let's indicate that we've got regions we might as well include the background type as well so we can see all of these. Will it? exclude the area and exclude the concentration and we ought to be left with a table that provides us the comparison that we're interested in and here it is it's on the VAMAS block that is selected in the active tile so we have a comparison that indicates we've used an edge down background type the height this represents the step in the signal across the edge and then we have a full width half maximum that provides us with an estimate of the width of these edges. So in terms of the resolution we can see that the first one is
better resolution than the second one. Let's just indicate now that this is the hybrid. Pass energy 20. And the other one represents the field of view 1, pass energy 20. So we can see here we've got the comparison indicating we've got hybrid is in this case tuned so that we have a better edge resolution than the field of view 1. When the edge down background type is used, the position is determined by a line through the point of inflection with the gradient of the point of inflection and where it intersects with a horizontal line. The complementary error function is calculated as the integral of a Gaussian. So the point of inflection represents the maximum of the Gaussian. This means that the position for the Gaussian is different from the position that's reported by this technique of intersection of two lines. If we wish to use the point of inflection or the maximum of the Gaussian then there is an alternative to using the edge down background type and this is the step down background type. And when I press return after entering SD for step down and I don't need to initialize the coefficients because the same complementary error function is used for both edge down and step down then rather than seeing the position as defined by the intersection of those two lines we get the point of inflection or the maximum of the Gaussian that corresponds to this error function. So we can see now for this one the position when I've got a background type of step down is then indicated by this point here the point of inflection very close to zero and this differs from the point that the edge down background type is calculating for the field of view 1. So if I wish to propagate this, we can see that both have a value very close to 0 once we use the step down background type and the point of inflection is used to indicate the position for this edge.